lot of people ask me my why. And it changes from time to time. The reason I've been on stage for this long and continue to work on my vision. See, the response, usually hear reasons why they believe they saw me doing this. Reasons why where I'm at now, I should have been at years ago, and how I should probably be even further. So I figure they never fully support your heart, but they'd be quick to criticize your foundation. So the reason it changes is because I don't have the time to release the pressures off my heart and put into words how I bear suffering and how one of my closest friends asked me, when are you gonna reach your full potential, Dana? Cause what are you afraid of? And then in front of a room said, whether you're hurt or hungry, use either one to get where you need to go. And then I met a wise woman who said, if your why doesn't make you cry, you need a new one. And then I met a man who said, if you want to help broke folk, don't be one. And then my reflection broke. Pockets linty, heart torn, character shattered, mind, spirit, body all broke because all my wives have made me cry because I'm tired. Tears flooding, blood shedding, complaints of us being broken. I'm adding another why because it hurts to get calls for help, to reinforce dreams and don't answer because I can't answer. I can't even pick up a fucking phone. I'm too ashamed, too broken, cowardly, figuring I can't let this spread. Finding shelter in silence, trying to keep this contained inside and broke. It's myself from some family and friends and broke down. War relationships down to their bone, but none of them will ever speak of its pain. In order to avoid smothering my fire, but I can see it in their glares. My why is a sad excuse for an apology, for healing. Moment for, told me so, for paying my debts to those Peters and Tinas of Rob to pay Pams and Pauls and those episodes of emptiness still came up short. I'm sorry for not doing I was too encased, too ashamed, for being too broken while searching for what my potential is and half-assing, crawling out of my emotional hole and y'all being collateral, y'all being reassuring echoes to a stubborn mule in a sunken place, bandages feeling abused and I didn't answer, couldn't show up and I didn't call, I'm sorry for changing now. Because I needed to because learning what I want will take work and I still have work to do. My why is coming alive, passionate about the work I have to do to be the traveling poet. So there's no, you should be here's without me actually being there, without my family actually being there. We aren't hungry and I can always answer my why. Not selling my tears. My blood is not for sale. My body is not up for auction, yet there's a price on my head. We're not cargo. We're not apes in a concrete jungle. We're not prizes, not targets not bargaining chips, not thugs or delinquents, yet we're the prophets you profit on behind your prisons. You pipeline our children from schools, emasculated and slaughtered our fathers while overworking and eroticizing our mothers to command our allegiance, but our queens are not your bitches. They will not lay down. This is not us biting a hand. This is us being done, being told to wait, done, Waiting for you to understand, done. Listening to your understandings, being confronted with misconceptions and then being mistaken for misperceptions. See, we understand more twists than your evidence. See, we are not being deceived. We are not paranoid. This has been a pool of blood, not a puddle. 
If we've been distanced, disarmed, and told, if we speak out, that we're in discontent. We've been financially cold-shouldered. See, this ice is terror. See, in dead silence, your police are casted like rods, fishing to reel us in, and you've baited us and served us as media scapegoats, because it's just our problem. Because there is no problem when we are the nagging problem, black on black, not enough voting. voting. Have you heard the lyrics <laughs> to their music? See, there's not enough voting. They're always locked up. See, it's we, 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 and we're chanting just us, just us, just us. Hands down, don't shoot, but this is our ongoing reality because they keep shooting. It's a part of our lives and our lives don't matter to the naive. The ones who sit comfortably on our bones, dignity and holy land justified with suits and laws, sitting in two parent homes watching CNN and Fox. So while our communities rot, they project riots so the closed off willingly can be blocked off mentally. Wanting order, but never order justice in the center of their towns and they have the nerve <laughs> to cry over Cecil, Mufasa, and any other fictional characters. <laughs> the audacity to be upset over Cecil or any other fictional characters. Our ongoing symbols of using instincts as is present strength and resilience, yet we're being killed for using our instincts, our cars, being only gagged witnesses. See, the last spots we're seen because we don't sell dreams. Our style will not conform to fit your comfort. My hair is not yours to touch, isn't part of your research. Just research your nightmares, because this locked lineage is woven into a warrior spirit that your past anxiously awaits to be unleashed on this present public who wants to cover up, contain, or won't accept how the privileges are acting like eardrums with freedoms. <laughs> Excuse me, I mean rights, being blindfolds, safety blankets, the veil for the naive, while we continue to be the broken pieces of this nation's mirror. So together, I guess you'll be forced to look at your horrific reflection. I heard survivors don't like their stories told, like how so-and-so left so-and-so out in the cold, or how you know who sexually assaulted, what's their face, in their home, how privy parties claim these facts were all unknown, and now, all of a sudden, the crowd response is retro and detrimental. I thought it'd be fundamental. See, I heard rumors don't leave folks alone, masquerading as accountability, echoing a hollow sense of responsibility. See, I heard. My presence is a threat to a femme space. It's been compared to whiteness and its place told that it's toxic with no redeemable trait, a danger in any state. And I heard if we are still promoting this logic today that black lives matter cries prove hollow when some politics sway. Some say, some say. The protest seemed like noise when they use it to justify the agendas they already had with the women and the boys. And boy, those skeletons walk like zombies or hide like laundry. See, I heard we hardly hear both sides. But I was, uh, I was told, listening makes me a sympathizer, guys. But with my morals, choose blind and find the right words to sell everyone that I love them all at this time because I have some faults to address. So my black man opinion isn't a value voice that's suppressed, but I've seen white women pick it. 
Oh, I'll say how the state of things needs to pivot, but isn't that black women there quoting? Shit, I get it. Get on POC's good side for putting your mayo on our grits. Talk about issues that's marinated since you came to exist and then when we get ready to recall you on your shit, banish white women back into your chariot. See, I learned. Rumor played a telephone game with each detail growing more insane. The names are ruined and left to hang and no one ever sees the fangs. I thought we wanted restorative growth, not through shame, or is that just the claim? Cause I heard rumors are moving with malice, sipping tea out of society's chalice, sitting in a palace like it has a life of its own. Cracking foundations like bones, but I can leave these rumors alone and untold. At least until they decide that they need to cross my threshold and disrupt my home. If you can feel it. History is repeating itself from the way that we're finally able to love one another and love our history and love our culture, as well as seeing how other folks don't love us and find ways to show they don't love us, even when they are doing their part to benefit off of us. History is repeating, and I guess I'm happy and privileged and honored to at least know that I and part of it, part of the change, part of history in some way, shape, or form. And that's what black history is, really. Just walking in it, knowing that you are it, knowing that you are a part of it every day, from whatever dream that you may have to whatever dance move you decide you want to do, to poems that you might want to write, to games that you might want to inspire someone to create. Anything that is black, that is before slavery and after, that is joy, that is pain, and that is a testimony waiting to be said, that is what black history is to me. It's powerful and beautiful, and all the things that we need at this time and will continue to need. I love you guys. Happy Black History Month.